This weekend, you might be gathering with family and friends around lots of food and decorations and gifts. True, true, and yeah. true, but it's important to be aware of those things that could actually endanger a young child. For this week's Your Life, Your Health, medical specialist Emma Benson join us with how to keep your little ones safe out there. Yeah, around this time of year, especially, there's the goodies, there's all these objects that are bright and colorful. Yep. The kids just want to grab it and put it in their mouths, <laughs> right? So it's so important to be aware of some of these hidden dangers. I learned that there are some toys that should never be kept around small kids and also what to do if your child is choking. During this time of year, every parent needs to be extra vigilant. The choking hazards definitely increased during the holidays. Ryan Worth with Baby Safe CPR teaches parents what to do if their child is choking. He says if your baby starts coughing. So we don't want to do anything too intrusive yet. Look in their mouth for the object and sweep it out with your pinky. But if your baby is unable to cry or make noise and you notice a change in skin color, call 911 and take action immediately. Five firm back blows right in between the shoulder blades. Rotate the infant over. Two fingers, center of the chest right on the sternum. Five compressions. But if the baby goes unconscious. Keep their head at neutral. Three fingers right on the center of the chest. 30 chest compressions. We check to see if we expelled it. If we didn't, we do two rescue breaths. Anytime there's more gifts or toys going around and kids playing with them, we certainly see more kids coming in accidentally ingesting these things. Dr. Lori Bauman, a trauma surgeon at U of U Health and Intermountain Primary Children's Hospital, says some objects may not cause choking but can be extremely dangerous if swallowed. She says a deadly concern is button batteries. It causes burning of the throat or esophagus in children. And magnets. They move forward through the intestines at different rates. Then what can happen is two different portions of the intestines can stick together. If you suspect your child swallowed a magnet or battery, take them to the hospital immediately. These things are surgical emergencies and time does matter. Now if you're not sure whether a toy could pose a choking hazard, you could always try the toilet paper roll test. If the toy can pass through the roll, then it's too small for a young child. All of this information doesn't mean that they can't play with certain toys, but it's important to be educated about it and know what some of the risks are so we can all make the safest decision for our own families. Now, doctors do encourage parents to do their research. That might even mean foregoing certain toys if you have kids under three at home. And if you are interested in taking a course so you can feel confident knowing what to do if your child was choking, you can visit CPR. Dot com. And it's also important to note that uh, the back blow technique that he talked about yeah. there, that's for infants 12 months old and younger. For anyone who's over one year old, you can do the Heimlich maneuver where you put your arms around mm -hmm. them, yeah. do the abdominal thrust. Um, hopefully something parents never have to experience, but good information to know. Yeah, I mean, even that toilet paper roll thing is an, mm -hmm. a visual test to give you an idea. Yeah, yeah. super easy way to, to check to make sure those, those toys are age appropriate for your kids. All right, mm -hmm. thanks, Emma.